It's happened again. Yet another young life cut short by gun violence. Just hours ago, painful questions emerging from memorial service. Another family asking, what will it take to stop? Communities across our area reeling tonight after four teens are shot in just three days. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Marley Ginter. And I'm Tony Lopez. The problem is not new, but there is a renewed push tonight to stop this tidal wave of tragic stories. CBS 13's Ashley Sharp is live with the heartache and the quest for answers, Ashley. Hey guys, that's right. This family that is mourning tells me that more than anything, they just want justice. After this shooting that was a shooting between two brothers, Yuba City Police tell us that that oldest brother came here to their police department about an hour and a half after the shooting unfolded last week to turn himself in. Now a family is grieving that loss and now fighting a new battle, claiming that that charge of murder he's facing is not justified. Posters lined with photos of two brothers, Davy and Cody. This is how family and friends remember the teenage boys as they were before tragedy struck. They were best friends. There was no animosity. There was no, no fighting, no nothing. It was just a bad accident that happened. Police say Davy was hit by a bullet fired by Cody, who turned himself into police the night it happened. It's really heartbreaking. I love my baby boy that's up in heaven, but I love my baby boy that's sitting there having to deal with all this too. And Final moments, family says, are mischaracterized. Second degree murder charge is completely bogus, and um, that couldn't be any further from the truth. Family says those charges should be reduced to manslaughter. One day after this shooting, a similar case in Stockton. A 13-year-old was shot by his 16-year-old brother, who was charged with manslaughter, not murder. We're getting answers. What's the difference between those two charges in these two similar cases? There's varying degrees of murder, but it means you intended to kill the person, okay? Manslaughter is everything else where there's a death. Attorney Mark Reichel says once more evidence is presented, the charge of murder can be reduced if the facts back it up. It does happen where they, they charge really quickly because that's what they think the state of the evidence is and then provided that other additional evidence says, wait a minute, let's adjust this down. And that does happen once in a while. Family says they'll fight for justice and still they don't know how Cody had access to a gun. This is our worst fear. Uh as uh, uh, um, That's you know, he adults that. to see kids fooling around with a firearm when they haven't been properly trained. Their hope is the truth comes out and this family finds peace. Now, Cody's family told me that he does at this time remain in juvenile custody and they are working with an attorney to get his charges reduced.